From August to June, buses are packed with students coming to and from school. Oftentimes, they can be considered an inconvenience for regular drivers, but that does not override the rules for safety that are often forgotten. We spoke with a few of the many people who are involved in getting each student home safe to their families to educate ourselves and set as a reminder for everyone the importance each life on the bus has. First and foremost, students should be in their seats at all times with their seatbelts on. You see kids standing up, inadvertently just getting up to hand something to someone. Um, what to do to improve it? I mean, we already kind of do tests where they get up and they check if the kids are wearing the seatbelts, but the minute we check, they take them off. So, I don't know, maybe stronger penalties for not wearing a seatbelt. From my experience, my experience is with the children on the bus or my students, it's the exterior of the bus with the drivers. Um, I experience a lot of stop arm violations because I'm one of the, on the busier streets in Dyer. For people, when they're aware of the buses, that when the star, stop arms come out, they do have to stop. They have to stop both behind the bus and coming towards a bus. The way that I think that we could go ahead and alleviate it is probably to increase the fines and maybe to the extent even jail time because they're putting the lives of a lot of children in the hands of, you know, th their driver. Tickets for passing a school bus while the stop arm is out can range from $250 to $10,000. One exception to not stopping for a bus with the arm out would be specific circumstances on the highway. When you are on US Highway 30 or any highway, if the highway is divided by a grassy median and or a curbed median, drivers do not have to stop when the bus is on the opposite side. But if you're on a highway double laned that is connected, all lanes of traffic have to stop. If you have any further questions or comments, please feel free to reach out to me, email me, and I'll be more than happy to um, go further in detail. 